Okay, good morning. We're here uh, today with Samantha Strott from uh, New Coast Financial. And Samantha hands, uh, handles all of our uh, in-house financing um, for new and pre-owned boats. Um, welcome, Samantha. Thank you. Um, we're going to talk today a little bit about the financing process and how, how the process works, how simplified it is, and just some things that you should probably know. Um, why don't you, Samantha, tell us the, the reason why in-house financing is better than somebody maybe going to their local bank? Okay, so in-house financing, um, we work specifically with about 10 different banks. So we'll do the preliminary underwriting. We can determine which bank we can get the best rates and terms for the customer. Typically, we will get reduced rates, uh, more so than a local bank, and we'll get extended terms because it's a marine-specific finance program. When you say you take care of the in-house finance, and you mean like, I know a lot of people get concerned about the fact that, you know, they, 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 they fill out a credit app at a, a dealership of a car or whatever, yeah. and that car dealership faxes their, their application to 25 different banks. Each bank runs credit on them, and they wait for the best rate, which, in my opinion, is, is when, I, when I buy anything, I, I get nervous about that because I feel like each and every time that's taking a hit on my credit, and, mm -hmm. and causing my credit score to go down, whether or not that's true or not, a lot of people don't understand. So what you're saying by in-house financing, you're actually looking at the applicant, you're pulling the credit on them, and you're saying, all right, well, this person is gonna get the best rate, best terms at these two or three banks, so we're gonna call them first, so we're not running 20 different bureaus on them, we're running one bureau on them, and putting them in the best program for what they're looking for. Correct, so we do the preliminary underwriting. We know the guidelines of all of the banks. So we will know when we see a customer's credit profile, which of those banks, like you said, whether the, you know one, two, or three that we'll send it to to get the best rates and terms for your customer. We don't just do a blanket mail out of an application. That's why we have in-house underwriting. Plus, I, I would think that, I mean, I buy a lot of things, but <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping to get the best rate, but you know, the average person that comes in doesn't, you know, buy a boat every year, um, where you guys deal with, you know, millions and millions of dollars worth of financing. So your banks, you have a relationship with them, so they offer you better deals than they would give to the general. That's right. So we're specific to Marine, and because we place a volume of business with these banks, we get discounted rates, um, and again, it's extended terms under the specific Marine programs. So. Okay. Um, so you say you work with about 10 different banks um, on... on um, um, on underwriting, um, how do you how do you actually go about doing this? You you apply online. Is it easier to apply online? Is it easier to call you? Is it easier? All right. So whatever works best for your customer. So on your website, you have an application if they want to apply online. Mm -hmm. um, there's an application that can be emailed. Either I can email one. I know that all your staff have access to the application. Yep. Um, that can be emailed or faxed in. Loan decisions typically will get within um, 24 hours for them. Uh, if it's a loan under 150000 which typically most of them are, all it is is a short form application. So okay. they can use just the one online or just a one blanket form that we can email. Okay. As opposed to like the old school, like, come fill out an application and, and yeah. fax it in. I, I think this is kind of like, this it's, is kind of the old way of doing it now. The new way of doing it, it's all secure doing it online, right? It's all secure online yeah. and it's literally, I mean, it's just a short form. It's the customer's information, employment information, income information, and then the boat information, which you have. Right, okay. That's it. Um, can people get pre-qualified? Yep. So what you can do, we will need a boat on the application to pre-qualify. Okay. But just put a boat in the, in the like and the type and the price range that they're looking at. Once they're approved, once they find the specific boat, we can just update that approval with a copy of a purchase agreement. Oh, so if somebody says, hey, I'm looking at buying, you know, a 27-foot Sea Hunt game fish, yep. it's about $130,000, say, yep. plus or minus. That's the boat we put in. We get pre-approved for that amount. Yep. And then, say they ended up buying a 25 or a 30, we would just update that decision. Yep, that's it. Just send over okay. the purchase agreement, we do that. Um, if, say, somebody owns their own business or um, it's a little more complicated, you know, like yep. for me, example, I own my own business, so... Yep. Um, when, anytime I go to do a loan, you know, they say they want tax returns, they want this, this, and this. I mean, not with you, obviously. I don't mm -hmm. have to deal with that. Yeah. Um, but um, you can still approve them contingent upon getting X, Y, and Z? So for under 150000 to finance, most banks will go on a stated income loan. Okay. Um, Meaning there's both, no proof of income? Correct. Okay. For self-employed 
individuals also. The banks do have the right at that point, if they want to approve it contingent on income verification, they will ask for it, but we do have a handful of banks that will work stated income under 150 on self-employed applicants. Oh, so it's easy. So that's yeah, it's not an issue. Over 150, you know, then we, you know, we need more information. Um, what what are the typical terms and down uh, terms and down payments for a loan? Like, say, what do you set them at 50, 100, 150? Yeah. So you know, typical average loan is 75,000. Okay. Right. I mean, um, so under 100,000, 10 percent down. Most banks will include sales tax in the financing. Okay. Over 100000 to finance 15 to 20% down. Again, you can put the sales tax in the financing. Um, as far as terms, um, 15 to 20 year terms, typically over 50000 you can go up to 20 years. Okay. So the customers can opt to take a lower term if they like. Some banks will do additional discounts for reduced term if they choose to do that. Or they can take the extended term and make extra payments to principal if they wish. Yeah, so um, I, I mean, I, this different than cars, because yep. I mean, cars nowadays are fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars, yep. and they give you terms of what seven years max. Yeah. So these are simple. I mean, the rates are are uh, the payments actually are, are super affordable. They know that a boat will last fifteen, twenty, whatever many years, so they're comfortable underwriting that for that amount of time. And people they realize people still have to have a house and a car, and a boat is a secondary item, so they want to make it affordable. I think that's. Yeah, and I mean, you'd be familiar. So what they do, they do the extended terms because it is a luxury item to be able to keep the monthly payment affordable. So we were looking. So if somebody's financing 50000 we were looking at a payment 20 years around $358 a month. Wow, that's good. So if you look at 100000 for a 20-year term, we're looking around 687 a month. So most people typically keep their boats four to seven years. They'll go ahead and underwrite it for 15 or 20 to keep that payment manageable for them. Right. So when they're done and they decide to either sell their boat or trade their boat in, yeah. they trade it in, they take any, whether it be equity or even a little bit of unequity, depending on how much they put down or what yeah. condition the boat is in, um, and they just pay that boat off at that particular point or trade it in or whatever. Correct. They go ahead, trade it in, they get any equity they have in that boat uh, as part of their down payment, and then they can work on financing the other boat they're going into, and we would take care of paying off that loan. And they still get the tax advantage of, of not paying sales tax twice. Co correct. Well, on, that not that our sales, on that difference. Not that our sales tax is, is too high <laughs> anyway now at 2.99% in Connecticut. Um, okay, what else can I ask you about this? Um, what about insurance? Like customers ask about insurance and everything else. I know a lot of customers have their own insurance companies they use for their home, their cars and everything else. Um, and I always tell them that, listen, you, you want to deal with insurance company that – knows boats yep. because a lot of the home insurance companies don't know boats and, and they don't know what questions to ask and at least get a competitive quote. You do that as well? Yeah, you know, Marine is very specific, whether it's finance, whether it's insurance. Um, so by all means, we can go ahead, get a competitive insurance quote. There's no obligation to take that insurance. You can compare it to what your regular insurance company is offering, but it is available. Yeah, I know the last five or six people that we did, yeah that I, I sent you insurance on, you were able to beat their quotes by quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, because so. they were using that home, you know, group group policy. Yeah. Um, what else can I ask you about? Um, what about extras? Like, what if somebody says, uh, you know what, we want to buy this boat, but uh, we want to put in electronics packages worth, say, $15,000, or we want to put extended warranties. Can that be rolled into the financing? So, yeah. Um, so depending on the bank and the purchase, if it's obviously a new boat and they have all these accessories on it, it's part of that purchase agreement or part of the purchase, then you can include that in the price of the boat, which then would be included in the financing. Um, there are extended warranty options for 2009 or newer, so we can do both new extended warranties and more so what people are looking for for used boats. Right. Um, as old as a 2009. Um, so that information is available. Um, probably the only thing that we haven't uh, touched on, if you wanted to, would be a closing process. If somebody, you know, what would be entailed in a, in a closing process for a loan. Yeah, that's perfect. Can we talk about that? Like, yeah. what is a closing process? Yeah, so the closing process is easy enough. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and coordinate loan documents. Um, we can either close right here in-house. Um, otherwise, we can just email loan documents directly to the customer. We'll give them a prepaid UPS bill, get those back to us. The bank typically will fund us within 24 hours, and then we'll go ahead, wire money in, and then they can make arrangements with you to take possession of the boat. 
so basically if a customer comes in here on a say they come in on a saturday they're looking at a boat yeah um they determine hey you know we really like this boat uh we would like to purchase it well, obviously we want to you know finance a portion of this they can go right online here or even at home yeah. we don't really we don't need to, to know that yeah, um, either or. um we have a purchase and sale agreement which um we will send over to you mm -hmm. or they can send over to you or whatever either, either or, yeah. yeah um and then they'll they'll go home whatever do their financing um they get their approval in 24 hours so they don't even have to necessarily come back here until they pick their boat up or they get their boat delivered or anything else you will email them documents they send them out send them back to you and it's all just done correct whatever's most convenient for the customer and then also all the information which you can tell them where to direct them online if there's any questions whether it's looking for a rate quote on the process questions they can always just call me directly yeah okay so. um Hmm, trying to think of anything else. I have questions. I, I mean, you made it seem really, uh, really simple. I mean, we've worked together for for years, so yeah. so I know the process well. So uh, I think that uh, that was good. Thank you. Great. Thank you.